Hello and everybody, this is Fewstopper, and welcome back to more Shovel Knight Spectre of Torment. Where, after defeating the Enchantress, we still got a few more things in this enchanted tower we gotta explore. What happens if you do get all the Red Skulls? Oh, you have seven Red Skulls, I'll pay 500 gold each. Ha ha, that's the last one, well done. As thanks, I prepared a little surprise. Follow me once more into the tower depths. Would you look at this rubble? What possibly could have happened here? Who could say? Indeed. Well, here's what I found. I want you to have it. We get the Donovan set. Adopt the visage of your formal self. Impeccable, isn't it? Really, it's like it was made just for you. I found these alongside it. Not quite magical enough for my taste. Hardly worthy of being called a curio. And you get the cow traps, similar to the flashbacks. Thank you, Brad. The pleasure is all mine. Both of us might be a touch too sentimental for undead life. Ha ha! I don't know what you're plotting against the Enchantress, but be careful, Spectre Knight. Yes, so auto-equipping it, we now will adopt the look of Donovan from the flashbacks. I'd say a pretty nice reward for basically 100%ing this. But that's not all. Because we also got the new Curio, the Caltraps. Never mind, for some reason I thought we could upgrade these. No, they're just automatically upgraded. Don't worry about that. They still work the same. But oh well, let's continue on, and because that's not all we gotta show. I mean, in a previous video, I had mentioned that we were going to go show off this tower, which we haven't really had a chance to do yet, so let's see. Horus, ah, oh, welcome. Few visit the endless parapet, but for the brave, I offer a brief diversion of my own design, as if the Enchantress has the time for diversions. I've been here far longer than she. I merely reward the odd seeker of thrills, and none harm me. Care to play my game? If you fare well, there may be a reward. Ah, then we shall begin. Please board the platform. Yes, so we hop up onto the platform here. Just a little warning, have your coin equipped. So the whole point of this tower right here is to try to get up to the top within the time limit. As you can tell, we got the little, he's got a little electricity field, if you see on the left there, near the bottom. And if that electricity field hits you, instant death, you don't actually lose any gold or anything, but you just die and you have to restart the tower. Now, as I've also said in the previous video, the reward for getting up to the top of this tower is not that worth it. It's just a bunch of money, which, if you could see our cash in the top left, we don't really have need for money. But why I recommend you equip this coin, is if you flip it, it slows down not only the enemies and stuff, but it also slows down the platform down there. Very helpful if you're just trying to get through this without trying to get all the extra golden niceties. I say use it whenever you get the chance, cause you can never go wrong. And besides, you want to be able to collect some more darkness as you ascend. You don't want to stack darkness on top of darkness. Long story short, as long as you use your coin well, you should have no troubles with this, but it may take a try or two. Um, design is also randomized every time, so the path you're seeing me climb right here may be different from the path you're climbing. But it still has the same general shape. You still go through all the same obstacles, they're just in a random order. So let's use this coin here. Okay, and not just fall down. Generally, I like to use the coin when there's like long passageways where you have to walk like far to the left or far to the right. I know there's probably better techniques to doing this. That's just the one that I found the most success with. Uh-oh. Typically when I do this, it takes like two or three tries. 
And I'm not trying to jinx myself here. Hopefully I don't jinx myself here. But I'm doing fairly well. I'm not going to show each and every attempt because this takes a really long time. But let's just try this again. You know, the reward should be worth it. Actually, you know what? I might as well just talk a bit here about this campaign in, in general because I didn't really go over it a ton after we beat the Enchantress. Mostly because we weren't done. But... I, I want to honestly know your opinions on this campaign. I know, personally, this is not my favorite campaign, but it's a very, very close second. It's I played this one the most out of all of them. I think I played through Shovel Knight like three times, Plague Knight like two, and in this campaign was like three or four times I played through it. I honestly think it's very good. The only downside is that it feels really short. I don't know if it actually is shorter, because it... Level-wise, it seems like it has the same amount of levels. But I don't know. Maybe... maybe I'll, I'll look that up while editing this, and then I'll see if it's shorter, actually. It may... It just... It feels like this campaign goes by too fast. It doesn't feel like there's enough side quests, and that's probably my only complaint about that. But to be fair, with the lack of side quests, they actually added, like, a lot more to the main game. It feels like... It's a more favorable, like, main game. But with all with missing all this side content, it just feels like it's missing something that it could have had. But you know... At least they got this tower. This tower is honestly... The most fun side part of this game. As I die. Okay, I'm just going to cut to when I successfully do this. Enough talking. If you guys really want to see a successful run, well... I'm sure there's videos of it on YouTube. But this mode, it just... It's fun. It's challenging. It's worth it. And we'll cut to what you get at the top. Yes! Okay. At their... An embarrassing large amount of time trying to do that. I finally actually made it to the top. And your reward? Confetti. No. I am impressed. You have bested my challenge. Well done. You just get a bunch of gold. Frankly, I find this to be a waste of time. Because you only get like about a thousand gold from doing it. It's so much easier to grind up gold elsewhere. It, maybe if you got some red skulls out of it, okay, then it's worth it, but it, it's just not. It's not worth all the trouble. Oh! One cool thing about this costume, instead of shrugging because you have no humanity, when you do your down taunt, well, not that, you do a little dance. Definitely worth getting all the skulls for. But, you know, although this video is probably going to be kind of short because I have to cut a ton out of it, I think that's where we should leave Spectre of Torment off. This has been a great campaign. You kind of heard my thoughts during the credits, so I don't need to go over it again. But make sure you guys join me next time. And join me for a game of cards. Thank you all for watching. Have a good one. See you all next time.